Okay, this is a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig, and uh, it's not overclocked, and I've just reinstalled uh, the operating system. The only thing I've changed uh, is the screen resolution and the background, uh, but everything else is as it comes. So this is the minimal install, and you can see there's not very much on there. So recently I did a video on converting CDs to MP3s and also playing MP3s, uh, and uh, I did mention that I'd cover DVDs, and that's what I'm gonna do today. So if I pop a DVD in, I can hear it spinning up, and there you go. It appears on the screen here, and it also gives me an option to automatically start it. So let's just press OK and let VLC start up. So if I was to pick a movie trailer, I remember when this used to look like really, really decent quality but nowadays it, uh, it doesn't tend to look quite as good as it used to. Just get used to HD now, and obviously DVD isn't HD, so let's just pause that. How do I go back? Media, playback, title, yeah, DVD menu. So let's just pop something else on. Let's skip in a bit. You can see it skips pretty well. So I've already established I can play a DVD, that's fine. Uh, but if I want to be able to rip that DVD to the Pi's hard disk, uh, how can I do it? Well, if we go into uh, Add Remove Software and we do a search for K3B, and you can see it's come up here, so let's just click one of those, click Apply, and you can see that it's installed all sorts of different bits that go with it. It does that on its own. I haven't clicked anything else. So let's click OK. And let's find that program. There it is, K3B. Open that up. So what sort of thing can we do? So you can see there's a few options here already. They don't help me. But if I go to more actions, uh, we've got RIP Video DVD. So hopefully we've got Transcode, we'll soon find out if it installed it on its own. So let's just go with one of these chapters, rather than wait for all of them. Uh, I would definitely overclock if I was going to rip all of them, because obviously that would speed the whole process up. But I just wanted to show, sometimes people complain when, when a Pi is overclocked and they think that it should be run stock, so I figured I'd do this stock. So Title 1, uh, what do I have to do now? Okay, so I haven't got Transcode installed in K3B, and I had a look online, and it looks like there's a few steps, uh, and I wanted to try and make this a super easy way of doing it. So I'm going to try something else. So I'm going to try Brazero, uh, and so I'll hit Apply and install that, and see if that does it any easier. Okay, so let's hit OK, go back in, let's search for Brazero. Uh, probably under sound and video, yeah, there it is. Audio data, video, create, video disk, copy, burn image. So we just try and copy the DVD, new disk in the burner holding the source. Obviously bits missing from that as well. So let's go back in and find something else. So let's try Handbrake. I've used that on Mac and that works very well. Hit OK. See where Handbrake is, hopefully in sound and video. There it is. Is this going to need any plugins? We'll soon find out. So my disk has spun up, I can hear it. So open source. Okay. Open one to seven. Yeah, so it's found that. So that's title one. Title two, that's the Jurassic Park one. Title three. Uh, four, five, <laughs> uh, eight. That's the music track on there. Right, so I think I'm going to go for the Jurassic World one, which is that one. Uh, so, save as video, let's call it Dino, and saving to videos. Let's hit start. So, encoding on the bottom. Looks like it's going reasonably fast. Obviously, again, if I overclocked, maybe this would go faster. So it reckons about just under four minutes. 
It's not far off real time if you look at the top. So five minutes 48 is the title. And obviously this has to convert this because uh, DVD was MPEG-2 and now we're using uh, a more efficient, better quality MPEG-4 compression. 100%. Is it doing something else? And go done. Right, okay, so let's close that down. And we'll go into the folders, go into videos. So let's play that back. It'll automatically open VLC, as you can see. There you go. So I won't leave that playing, but you can hear that it that it that the audio is there and it's playing. Okay, so I hope that helped. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.